Hi guys, today I will be filming a 2022 version of my favorite and least favorite album packaging of the year. I did this last year and a lot of people loved that video and I kept getting comments asking if I would do a 2022 version and of course I really wanted to film this. I actually am filming this a bit late, I might not even post it in 2022 but that's fine hopefully i can and also happy new year to everyone i'm currently still in 2022 and let's get right into it i will start off with a packaging that i liked and it actually came out pretty recently it is red velvet's album birthday this is the cake version as you can see sm has been very creative with red velvet it's literally like a cake in a box that you can buy at the store I love it and actually the details on the cake as you can see inside it's like very realistic and I like that a lot. It's light and you can easily store it because you can like stack them and they look really pretty sitting on your shelf. You get fun things inside and you can actually set it up like a birthday cake. It comes with a little candle that you stick on and then stick that whole part on the top and it actually looks like a birthday cake. It's really cool. Of course I had to include this and I actually have another part to this that I wanted to add in the video. It is the SM Mini version or S Mini. I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to be pronounced, but I've just been saying SM Mini, but it's basically like a recreation of hit clips from the 90s. I think it was a really cool idea. And now SM is doing it all the time, like Kinos. They don't do Kinos anymore. It's all about the SM minis. <laughs> SM really popped off with Red Velvet's birthday packaging. <laughs> Even the photo book version is really cool. I like the, like the wire coil binding thing. I, I forget how that's called, but I even like that packaging. I just included this in the video, but overall, I think their whole birthday packaging was really cool and fun, and I like this kind of concept. Definitely one of my favorites of this year. I'm sad to do this again for this group, but unfortunately, TXT just has this odd packaging. <laughs> I actually like the design on it. It's really cool, and I like the other versions. There's a black and a red one, plus this album was flawless. I loved the era. I loved the photo shoots. The b-sides were beyond amazing. I cannot even explain. It's literally one of my favorite albums of this entire year. I listened to the album start to finish for like three months straight and I loved their look. I loved everything about this album other than the packaging. It's very like, I think it's binded by glue. It kind of scares me that I might rip the pages out or something. And also everything was kind of just sitting at the back here. There's a whole bunch of loose stickers and postcards and this thing that you're supposed to put together. Everything's kind of just sitting there loose and it's very fragile, I guess is the word. I'm always worried to look through this. I don't totally hate it. I feel like I hate their Freeze album more than this. And that was the album from them I had last year that I didn't like. This is actually still better than that. But what's worse than this one, and this one I'm about to show right now, kind of goes with this as well. It's the Digipack version of the album. This is actually worse because it was kind of like sealed with this sticker and the outside is this boring brown bag. There's really nothing to rave about this packaging and it's just a Digipack inside. And also the way the cards were sat in there, some of them went down too far and they got bent. It's kind of hard to explain. You'd have to see my unboxing because it actually happened to me with one of my cards. This is worse than this. I can I can deal with this. It's not the worst I've seen. It's just this one. I feel like it was kind of unnecessary. Big Hit really did not need to make this one. But of course they want to boost their album sales, I guess, because they did member versions. I will talk about that later in the video. This one I just wasn't a huge fan of, but again, loved the music on this album. It was flawless okay now i'll move on to another one that i liked and of course are we shocked he does it again with his album this is his gasoline album and as you can see he recreated a vhs and this is the vhs version he is just so cool for this <laughs> honestly i've seen so many people want this album even if they don't stand they still wanted it and that's pretty cool also he designed it himself he pretty much designs all of his recent album packaging SM does not really have a say in what he does with the packaging. It's all his idea and the concepts are his idea. It's really cool. It's actually nothing too complicated. You get a photo book, you get some postcards and a poster there, CD at the bottom, and of course you get all the cards with it as well, which are really cute and cool. The photo shoot to this was beautiful, of course. He is a stunning man. <laughs> and I liked the kind of like villain. To me, he kind of looked like Shigo. From Kim Possible and she was the villain of the show. Evil scientist. It's kind of like villainy to me and I love that. It's really cool and unique and different and that's totally what Key is. <laughs> he kind of goes over the top in the best way possible. I have another one to go with it. Of course I had to show the floppy version. He's recreating a floppy disk. <laughs> it really looks like it too and I just think that's so unique. 
mine actually sliced it and i was holding it down with washi tape but it's not really sticking anymore <laughs> the only thing about this is that it was kind of annoying to open because you have to slice it and that kind of ruins it but peeling it sucks that's like the only thing but the design itself is so cool and major props to key for doing that again and i really see him doing something cool for his next comeback if he has one i can see him doing a repackage for this for a packaging i didn't like this year i have pentagons invite you now there's nothing too bad about this but the only thing really that i didn't like so much about this is that it's so thick <laughs> it takes up so much room on my shelf you'd think a really big and thick album packaging like this would come with lots of things in it but it really didn't come with too much the design inside is really pretty i love this marble right here this is kind of unique it kind of looks like a gift almost like with this um tissue paper and it comes with not too much to be honest just from what i would expect from it <laughs> two photo cards i think were in here you get this bookmark thing and then the photo book whoops <laughs> and just like random member poster that's pretty much it although the photos were stunning as you can see they look really really good and of course the music was so good this is actually one of my favorite albums of this year all the b-sides on this album were so good i literally downloaded the entire album on my playlist <laughs> like literally the whole album it was so good it's just the packaging to be honest and i don't really expect too much from cube for pentagon another thing is that the box isn't totally filled out like look how much space there is that could be filled with a thicker photo book or maybe an extra little something in there but there's tons of room so it's really light you'd expect it to be heavier and come with lots in it it was kind of on the more disappointing side when it comes to inclusions and what you get in it also the outside design is kind of boring but it's classy which i like yeah that's pretty much what i have to say about that <laughs> now for an album packaging i liked this year i have wanna's trickster do i have to say any more you just take one look at this and think it's the coolest ever <laughs> the packaging itself is actually like nothing too crazy but the design oh my gosh i love that it's um rainbow holographic here that's really cool and you also got really cool inclusions in here as well which i liked Oh, it, it opened from the top. I was like, how does this open again? I will take it out just to show as an example. And everything kind of fits nicely in there. We got the photo book. Then it comes with these little chip things, like um, poker chips, I think. And then it comes with these, I think, like magic cards or something like that. You can put this together and make them like a deck of cards. Then it comes with the CD here. Honestly, like everything about this is so cool. The whole concept was like the coolest thing about this and they looked stunning. They all looked so good. The photo shoot, also this comeback was amazing. The album was good. Cannot complain about anything. <laughs> and it's not too hard to put in here as well. Just fits really nicely like that. That's all you have to do. It doesn't take too much. You know, there's some packagings like this where it's a little bit hard to slip it in and it gets stuck. This one, it's not hard at all. You just slip it in, it fits right in there. Easy to access the CD, even though it kind of looks like it would be complicated. The overall design is flawless. I very much applaud RBW for this packaging for Oneus. <laughs> so for this next one for packaging I didn't like, there were actually many groups that released an album that was similar to this style, but this is just an example. It is Espa's Girls album. Other groups like NCT Dream, did this for their glitch mode and beatbox album. I think Silgi did it as well. Onu did it and Schumann did it. I'm just using this as an example. There's actually nothing bad about this because you can view the photos very like enlarged kind of and you can see them in a bigger format. <laughs> I'm explaining that so badly but looking at the photos is very nice and actually this photo book has to be one of my favorite photo books of this year. It's really fun and bright and colorful and they look so cute in here. The only thing is that I'm sick of this. That's it. <laughs> I'm just sick of this packaging. SM has been doing it way too much for their groups, for like multiple groups and artists. They're doing it too much and that's why I'm putting it in the packaging I don't like. Again, nothing really wrong with this packaging. It's just that I'm sick of it. <laughs> and I chose this one. Even though it's in my least favorite, I just wanted to showcase this photo book because it's so pretty. <laughs> and next packaging I liked this year is treasures the second step chapter two album Wait, did i get that right it's the second step chapter two yeah okay you know there's nothing too crazy about this packaging but the bright green and blue i'm obsessed with kind of and i like that treasure kind of keep their albums in a certain way that they kind of connect they make a diamond on the side here and i really like that it's not too hard to open but it's also kind of unique it's not your average 
book style. It comes with this outer slip thing, and I like the design here. It's a little bit different, nothing too boring or anything. It's just something extra to add to it. I also love the brightness to it, and the photos are stunning. Very beautiful. And it's nice, thick photo book. I do like really thick photo books. There's two versions, and you got all these beautiful photos. And plus, they did um, two different concepts for both of the photo books, so I really like that as well. It's nothing too complicated. You just turn it around on that side. Let's put it back in here, like that, and there you go. It's very pretty. Nothing more can say about it. It's just something I personally like, so that's that. <laughs> and another packaging I didn't like, and I'm so sad I have to do this again for another group, but unfortunately, New East, and we know it's Pletus again. Even for their last album, Pletus couldn't give them anything. We got this plain front cover. There's like barely anything on it. This is the album name written right here, and you can barely see it. You, you need like a shadow to kind of like see it. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Pletus gave them the actual bare minimum for this packaging. It's insane. <laughs> the book style is not that bad. I don't mind the book style, but I have heard some people's arriving super damaged and i think it was the pages were coming out i think so i can't remember exactly now the photos are beautiful though they looked so good and i'm missing them so badly <laughs> i've been a huge newy stan for a very long time so it was a bittersweet album and the fact it was their last album too i just get sad when i think about it because <laughs> New East are amazing. I will never find another boy group like them. I mean, at least they're doing solo projects, but when it comes with this bookmark thing, it also came with a photo card too, but this is all Pletus could do for their album. And then the CD is kind of just sitting at the back there. I don't like it when the CD kind of just sits in here. They should have made like a thing where, like a little pouch thing, hold their thing at the back where the CD sits. They should have done that, but it's just sitting loose here and I don't like that. Yeah, it... It's, there's just nothing really good about this packaging. Oh, you also get a postcard there. And then the lyrics are sitting loose here. Absolute worst thing about this is the plain cover. It's literally just white. And I am so mad at Pletus for doing New East Dirty for so long too. Like, <laughs> I just blame Pletus for so many things. But anyways, it's so unfortunate that this happened to them again because I didn't like their last year packaging either. Again, it's Pletus' fault. This was a remastering album, except for they had two new songs. Their song, again, oh my god, it was just like the perfect disbandment song, but although I, I don't want a disbandment to happen, it was nice like closure, I guess. It was a very pretty song, so. Another packaging I liked this year is Girls' Generation Forever 1. This is the limited edition. It is similar to the Pentagon one. I don't typically tend to like thick packaging like this, but the design is what really got me, and the side is really pretty, and it looks super gorgeous sitting on my... Um, shelf and plus it actually came with cute inclusions it's just that the pentagon one didn't come with what i thought it would come with this came with a bunch of things i actually took a lot of them out <laughs> so they're not all in here but a lot of other things and they were random and of course this is girls generations first comeback in quite a while with all of the members it's not ogg it's including the three that left the company and you know girls generation are leading the way to older groups making comebacks because Kara had a comeback. There were other groups too. I can't remember right now, but <laughs> we really like to see it. I feel like this packaging is really pretty. Yeah, I just like the way it sits on my shelf. You can sit it this way. You can sit it that way. You can stack it like that. You can store it however way you want. And yeah, I just overall like it. That's that. And another one I didn't like this year is 17's repackaged album, Sector 17. You know, it's not that bad actually. I like the small size. I tend to like smaller sized albums. It's just the way you got to open it. It's a little bit frustrating because then you got to open it like that and then open this side. And sometimes they stick and you don't want to accidentally um, rip this, you know. Then you got to open this and you got to take it out like that and go through them. It's just a little bit annoying to have to get to it. This is why I keep the CD on the top there so it's a bit easier to access. This material can be a little flimsy but it's not too flimsy but it can be if you're not careful with it if you're a person that likes to flip through the photo books this one it will be kind of annoying to get to the photo book because it's sitting there at the bottom it's just not really ideal but this era though can we talk about this era <laughs> absolutely loved it i loved world so much it was such a good song a great repackage um and i got to see it live for the first time in august if you're a person that likes to play the CD on your CD all the time, or flip through the photo book. It's just a little bit annoying to get to it. That's pretty much the only thing. I do like the soft feel to it. I like that. And I like how small and compact it is, although they made an actual compact version. <laughs> 
that one is i didn't include that in here but it's just a little bit annoying to get to things but that's that <laughs> next packaging i liked this year is red velvet's feel my rhythm actually i mainly this i just brought in the main one i wanted to talk about though is this one which is the orgel version of the album I loved it. You know, Red Velvet are doing so great with their concepts, and I really like it when SM kind of showcases it really well in their album packaging, like this for example. It's actually supposed to be a little music box, uh, or ballerina music box thing. It's really cool. I can show you. So there's the little mini photo book, and it actually comes with a mini CD in here as well, which you can actually play, by the way. It's in here, I think. It's so small and tiny, the CD's right here. I tried it on my CD player and it actually works like a normal CD. You'd think like, oh, does this actually play? It does, so it's really cool. When you take all of that out, this is supposed to be like the ballerina box thing. I got Yeti, as you can see. <laughs> you just stick it in there and it looks like a little music box. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> and you can like stick this in the back if you want to display it like that. Put some sort of image there. You can do whatever you want, but... I love that. It's really cool. I mean, if you're into really displaying your albums, this would be perfect to buy because you can nicely display it somewhere and it would look so cute on your shelf. For me though, I can't really display stuff like that because I don't have room. <laughs> and you can easily put them back in like that. Then it closes like that with a magnet closure. I love that. And so this is actually mainly what I wanted to talk about, but I brought this out too because it's very gorgeous. <laughs> and also to just talk about the simple book style, you really can't go wrong with this. I like the matte soft feel to it you open it the photo book was stunning you got cute inclusions with it bookmarks photo cards love the ballerina theme i just i love it <laughs> and you know i mean well, once you take this out you can easily flip through it gorgeous stunning i could look through this photo book every day <laughs> this was kind of like a side thing to talk about another packaging i didn't like this year is nct's two baddies album <laughs> this is another one where really there's nothing wrong with this packaging i can't really say anything bad this is another example of a packaging i'm just sick of <laughs> sm has been doing this for nct since like the last three or four releases and i'm sick of this <laughs> we need something different and sm is so boring with nct's albums they were creative for a bit, but they're just giving them these boring photo books and they're thin. There's nothing really wrong with the packaging. I just wish SM would do something more with them. I feel like with some of NCT's concepts, they could do so much with it and they just give them this. And also Two Baddies wasn't one of my favorite comebacks from NCT. I know a lot of people liked this comeback and I do get that. It just personally wasn't my taste. So that's just to add on top of it. But <laughs> And then for a packaging I liked this year, was a pink's horn album this one i just like that it opens up like this like a door <laughs> that's really cool i'm always into packaging like this when it kind of like opens uniquely like this i don't know and it's also a door here and it's like the door is opening i like that <laughs> um other than that there's nothing really too much to this um this came with all the goods inside and plus it was um a pink's album as a group in a while <laughs> It was, yeah, we, because we haven't had an A Pink comeback in a while, and you know, it was kind of nice. And it was just a special album, but they actually had none in the album too, which was really cool because she's not really with the company anymore. She still kind of like stayed with A Pink. Unfortunately, now she did leave the group, so there will not be any none in future A Pink comebacks. But um, I definitely do look forward to there being more A Pink comebacks because they all did, except for none, renewed their contracts. The photo shoot was stunning, so pretty. I really liked this concept a lot. Bomi's blonde hair was such a look. There's nothing overly cool about this, but if you're someone that just likes easy access to things, it's really not that hard. You just go bam, bam, and take it out here. That's what I have to say about that one. Now I'll bring out one I don't like, and this is kind of sad because I'm showing another 17 album. <laughs> it's the actual album. The um, Sector 17 one is the repackage of this. So yeah, <laughs> there's actually nothing really I liked about this packaging. It's very flimsy. This, this material is not sturdy at all. It can dent super easily. And some of mine were actually dented a bit. This one was completely fine. That's why I chose this one. But um, And then this sticker seal here was so annoying to open. Come on, I am not opening this again. <laughs> I'm, I don't think I want to do that because it was so annoying. It took me well over an hour to unbox because they did five versions. Five, it was insane. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, and it's really tall and big and I had to relocate my 17 albums to fit because this was way too tall and big. It's such a hassle to be honest. That's why I don't really like it. What was really cool though is that it came with a highlighter. I've never seen that before. <laughs> that was unique and cool and the inclusions were, were nice but it's just getting to it, the flimsiness, how big it is. That's kind of like why I don't like it and to be honest I think this is probably my number one least favorite out of everything here. I'm so sad to say that because I love 17. I love this comeback. Loved the album. The era was really cool. It was different for them. They did like a darker concept. This packaging, I actually hate it. <laughs> but I love and adore 17. They're the best. And I'm so glad we'll get more comebacks and releases from them. So for this next album, it's kind of like just a personal thing that I have to mention. There's nothing really too crazy about this next one. I feel like anyone that's a part of this fandom will feel this way. But I cannot explain how happy I was when Mino made his solo debut with an album with the same packaging that every other shiny member got for their debut as well. You know, this is just like a personal, I feel so happy. <laughs> and I know Shallows can relate to that. We've been waiting for Mino to make his solo debut and to have the same packaging and the same like sounding album name as all the other members. I just cannot explain to you how happy I feel about this. <laughs> And there's nothing really too crazy about this album packaging, but I have never been so happy to see him do this packaging. <laughs> it's just a personal like for me. <laughs> and plus this photo book was gorgeous, but of course all the photo books are gorgeous for everything I'm showing. And it was so nice to see him finally make his debut with such an amazing song and album. And of course I have something to go with it. It is the SM Mini version. <laughs> I included it for Red Velvet, so I had to include it for Mino as well. It's just really cool. I already talked about it earlier, but just had to show this as well for cool packaging for Mino. <laughs> so that's that. And next packaging I didn't like so much this year is Itzy's Checkmate album. There are multiple reasons why I didn't really like this album. Not the concept. The concept was gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, everything great. But the packaging is just really big and tall. When I first received it in the mail, I was like, oh, this is definitely bigger. It's really thin, you don't get that many photos, and it's member versions. There is only five members, so I did get them all because I collect everything of Itzy. And then all of this stuff sits in here. I've explained it so many times, but I don't like it when stuff just sits in the middle of the album and it makes it, when it's all placed in one part of the album, it just makes it look weird like this. Like it's all stuffed in there and I hate that. Other than keeping it in the album, I don't have a place to put it, so I don't really know what to do with it and I just keep it in there. The only thing I can really say is that the photos, since they're big and enlarged, you can see them more clearly, I guess, and they look stunning, so hey. <laughs> and also what I didn't like is that this concept did not match the title track at all, like in the least bit. They did make a special version of the album and that had the same concept as the title track, but I just, all these different versions, it's making me go crazy. I wish they'd have one version concept matching you know or if you're gonna do multiple versions do like one with this concept with with the royal concept and then the other one with the concept of the title track they should have done that but they released member versions and it's too much but i did love the b-sides on this album it's actually one of my favorite itzy albums music wise not gonna lie it's really good <laughs> one more packaging i liked this year is Silgi's 28 Reasons album. We all know how much I like this packaging. <laughs> the case one, I feel like you can't go wrong with this. The only thing is that it's a bit difficult to get to. You have to just open this and take it out and then open the case. It's kind of a lot to get to the CD, but the look of it, I love. I like the gold yellowy look. It matches her color. And that's what kind of all of the Red Velvet members were doing for their albums. And I love that, that they're continuing that on. I love the golden apple. Everything about the look of this, I love. I feel like the case one, it looks expensive to me. It kind of looks like a apple made out of gold locked in this glass case and it kind of looks expensive even though not really but overall I just really like the look of this and plus her comeback 28 reasons so good. I feel like it suited her so well. She really impressed me with this with literally everything. Very last packaging I didn't like this year. I have a bunch here just to showcase how much they've actually done this and then I'm sick of it. <laughs> what I am so sick of is member jewel cases or digi packs i am done with them it needs to stop but the companies will not stop doing them because they know they'll get more money this is just one here as an example but i brought a bunch over here to show you how much it's actually happened so we have nct dream for both of their um 
albums this year. Sorry, they had three albums, but <laughs> they're Glitch Mode and Beatbox album. I just chose random members, by the way. I actually bought all of the members' covers. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. SM has been doing it a lot for NCT, so there's for NCT 127's Two Baddies album. They did it for Espa's Girls album. And then RBW did it for One Us and their Trickster album, which is actually the same album I talked about earlier for packaging I liked, but they also did Digipacks. <laughs> And then Starship did it for Monster X. And of course, JYP has been doing it a lot for Stray Kids. And then even FNC did it for SF9. And YG did it for Treasure. It's just been a lot. There was also the case versions for Stray Kids Case 143 album. I didn't bring that one. I'm kind of showing the whole jewel case and digipack thing. I'm sick of it. We're done with it. <laughs> so, but I just feel like it won't stop. It won't. And also I just bought all of the members versions for NCT Dream's Candy album, which by the way, I would have had in this video because it is so cool. Like the um, the special limited edition version, I wanted to show that so bad in this video. Mine haven't even shipped yet. I don't know what the holdup is, but I'm so sad, but that definitely would have been in my favorites video. Basically, member jewel cases or digipacks. I'm done with them. I'm just done with them. Just so I can end the video on a positive note, I just brought this out randomly. It's not really something I can include as an album. It technically is, but it's just something fun to show as like a positive ending. So we have these um, cassette tape versions in K-pop. <laughs> I cannot tell you why I like them. I like really small compact things. I guess that's why I like it. It just reminds me of the old days, you know, when we would actually play music on cassette tapes and I like it. I like the retro vibe. Shiny did it for um, their one of one album. They did that for that album because they actually were doing a retro style and it totally fit. I liked that Taeyeon did it and the Key did it for his Bad Love album. I don't know, I thought SM was going to be doing this more, but um, they just did it for Key and Taeyeon. I just wanted to show it to end with a positive note. <laughs> that was it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will try my best to edit this today and get it up today. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope we all have a good year and thank you for supporting me throughout this last year. You guys made my 2022 bearable so thank you for that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!